Why don't you take us back, if you could, to when you first got the call from Sam and you first had a chance to look at the books, because I think a lot of people are still trying to understand exactly what happened here. How much of this was about commingling? How much of this was about terrible marking of the books? What did you see? Yeah, I think um, I got a call from Sam 24, 48 hours after I made the tweet, and then um, he wanted to talk. So at the beginning, I thought he would just wanted to, you know, do a buyout on, um, do an OTC deal to buy out the um, um, FTT tokens we had. And then he wanted actually a, a buyout of the entire firm, uh, of the entire FTX platform. And then, um, but then we got our team on it. They, uh, it was pretty clear pretty soon that there's, you know, um, there's, misappropriation of user funds. Um, the user funds are gone. Um, and um, uh, at that point, um, it's clearly that he lied to his users, his investors, his VC investors, um, his employees. At that point, I thought I couldn't, like whatever data that's in the data room, we couldn't trust anymore. So it was quite hard for us to do that due diligence. So we didn't go very far. You know, we've all seen his tweets now overnight. Do you think he understood what he was doing? I think he thought he understood. Um, I think he probably still thinks he understands what he's doing now, which I don't think he should be tweeting. That's for sure. Uh, but, but in terms of intent, I mean, one of the things that's going to be looked at, I'm sure, by regulators, uh, potentially by prosecutors, is what he intended to do. Um, he seems to suggest in a lot of these, these, these tweets that he didn't understand or he didn't he mismarked things, and when I say mismarked, he mislabeled things is what he's, I think is the phrase that he's used. And yet, when you looked under the books, clearly it, it, it appears that he was demonstrably commingling funds, using uh, the funds to leverage himself up and the like. Yeah, I think, look, I didn't do the due diligence myself, but I think it will be very, very clear that uh, F Sam knows that he was using the user funds to do trading for Alameda, and he has been probably doing this for quite a while that nobody else knew until very recently. Well, a small number of people in FTX probably knew, but most of the other uh, normal employees probably did not know. I think that's probably the most likely situation. You know, one of the things that I think this has demonstrated to the public about crypto is just how leveraged the business is, um, how so many of these coins, uh, that FTT token uh, and other tokens have been used to leverage other tokens. How concerned are you about that? And how much leverage is in the Binance system, if you will? Sure. So I think um, we are very concerned about anybody using the token they create for leverage um, for um, um, as a collateral. Um, at Binance, we don't do that. Uh, we don't use BNB as collateral for any of, for anything we do. Um, so uh, it's very simple. Yeah. But when you think about the health of of a uh, the the quote unquote balance sheet of so many of these firms in the crypto space in the ecosystem, how much of those of those balance sheets do you think are actual fiat currency that has some stability uh, versus? some kind of token or other kind of cryptocurrency that may or may not actually have the value uh, that it uh, pretends to have, in part because the float of some of these, these tokens is so low that it appears the other piece of it is that some people are almost artificially inflating the valuations of these things. Yeah, so I think there's a couple of things here. There's the user assets. You should just, uh, every exchange should just hold the user assets as is, as chosen by the users, uh, whatever assets they want to allocate to. There's the operational funds for the business itself. Um, that should be in a combination of cryptocurrencies, stable coins, and maybe even some fiat currencies. Every different business can allocate that differently, depending on their risk appetite and the business model. Binance has always been profitable. So even uh, even today we are profitable, we are sustainable. So we, but our rough allocation is about a third in stable coins and then a third in some of the larger coins, and also we keep the BNB um, uh, coin that we hold very separately in our accounting, and this has been in our uh, uh, financial reports even from very early days. So we always keep the BNB separate uh, uh, in terms of accounting for the cash flows we have. We do believe that many other platforms may uh, include this as their cash reserves, um, which is a, uh, and when they present to potential investors, et cetera, uh, that may be somewhat 
um, uh, risky or misleading. Uh, so we, we we don't do that. Uh, we have records of our financial statements from very early days. We have always kept B and B separate. 